thanks for joining today. My name is Tim. I thought today I'd show you my bookcase, my hardcover collection behind me, um, so you guys have an idea of what kind of stuff I collect. I also collect a lot of comic books and some comic book related toys, as you can probably see from my videos. But today I'll walk you through the hardcovers that I have. So the way I've got my hardcover collection organized, over here to the left, your left, are little themed boxes. So at the top we've got Sandman, then the Goon, and Conan. Uh, this is my daughter's shelf. This is also my daughter's shelf. Uh, then we've got BPRD and uh, some other Hellboy related books. And then down at the bottom, Swamp Thing. This section here, from here to here, is all organized by writer, alphabetically. And then over here, we've got my favorite um, creator-owned writer-artist books. Uh, so we've got Charles Burns here. We've got Paul Pope books. This is all Frank Frazetta. This is all Mike Mignola. This is all Dan Klaus, and the bottom two shelves are Frank Miller. And then as far as the writers go, again, these are all organized alphabetically by writer. So we've got Jason Aaron up here. It goes from here to here. We've got Bendis. This is all Bendis, 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 all the way to here. And then we've got Brubaker. Uh, this is Brubaker. This spot is waiting for criminal number two. Um, this is all Brubaker. And then we've got Kurt Busiek. I don't know if I'm saying it properly, um, but that's his section. And that goes all the Astro City, Avengers, Iron Man, Untold Tales, all the way through Warren Ellis. And then Warren Ellis starts here and goes here. Warren Ellis comes down to here. And then this is all Warren Ellis, Warren Ellis, up until here when Garth Ennis starts. And we've got Garth Ennis, Garth Ennis Preacher, Garth Ennis Punisher. Then we move into Neil Gaiman. Um, we've got his books, not including Sandman, which is up there. It's a little small Neil Gaiman section. Uh, then we've got Matt Kent. These are all Matt Kent books, Matt Kent. And then we've got Jeff Lemire, um, Jeff Lemire, Jeff Lemire, Jeff Lemire, uh, Jeff Lemire. And then we go into Robert Kirkman. So the Invincible books, Marvel Zombies, Ultimate X-Men. Um, move to Mark Millar. So we've got Mark Millar running here. Ultimate Fantastic Four, Ultimate X-Men, the Ultimates, Wolverine. Uh, and then I believe the largest section is Alan Moore which begins with Killing Joke, From Hell, um, all the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, all the ABC stuff, Providence, uh, Supreme Hardcovers, ABC, Watchmen. Uh, and then we move into Grant Morrison. Morrison may have more than Alan Moore here. So we go Grant Morrison all the way through here, all the Batman books, all the Crisis stuff. These are the three Invisibles hardcovers that I had made that I told you about a while back on the Instagram page. Morrison JLA, New X-Men, Seven Soldiers. This is a cool book, Zenith. Um, and then we move into Brian Talbot. He's one of my favorites as well. So Brian Talbot is here through Heart of Empire. If you haven't read these, these are phenomenal. And we move into Brian K. Vaughn. I think that's how you say it, and he runs through here, Runaways, Saga, Paper Girls, Stand on Guard, Why the Last Man, uh, Matt Wagner, one of my favorites, Matt Wagner runs from here to here, and then we've got Brian Wood, uh, a couple Conan books, um, aside from the ones that are over there, from Brian Wood, DMZ, Local, Massive, Ninth Wade, and Sword Daughter, and then here at the top, this is my Marvel Fireside hardcover series. So all of the Marvel Fireside books, you'll probably remember them from when you were a kid, but you probably saw them as soft covers. Well, they made hardcover versions of most of these. 
Um, so I have collected all the hardcover versions that they did print. I've heard a rumor that there is a hardcover version of Mighty Marvel Team Up Thrillers. So if you have seen this in hardcover, uh, I will pay dearly for it. I'm not sure if I believe there is one, but there's one listed um, in the in the database. So if you have seen one, please let me know. Even if it's not for sale, I'd love to know that it exists. So these are all my fireside books. Um, for Charles Burns, we got Black Hole, Curse of the Mole Man. I still need to get the last book in the trilogy here. These are the signed uh, books that came with the with the prints. Paul Pope, I believe this is everything he has in hardcover. Um, this is Scapo hardcover is extra cool. It's got a a bound in print, and it's supposed to be that way. It looks upside down, but it's Houdini hanging up or Escapo hanging upside down. And then the cool thing about this book is it's got this bound in print, signed and stamped print. And this is the original first printing of Escapo. The newer version didn't have this, but I think this is very cool. Let's put that up there for now. And then Frazetta, love Frank Frazetta, obviously. Uh, Mike Mignola, I have all the Hellboy Library editions. Then From Hell, um, these are the original From Hell. This is the Hellboy in Hell, I mean, not From Hell, in Hell. This is the library edition, which is these two packaged into this, but I like these um, on their own, so I got these as well. This is the slipcase signed and numbered edition uh, of the original book. And then a few of the one-offs. Uh, I got Baltimore in here, but once I get another Hellboy Library edition, I'll, I'll be removing this and putting it in here. Uh, Dan Close is another favorite of mine. I've got almost everything in hardcover. I believe that he's done. I think I need three more. And then my favorite of all time, Frank Miller. So the bottom two shelves are all the Frank Miller hardcovers. We got these organized by Batman, uh, Daredevil, Elektra, and then Sin City, basically, with some other ones in the middle. Um, if you haven't checked out this RoboCop book uh, with Juan Jose Rip, hope I'm saying that right. Man, the guy's art is phenomenal. It's definitely worth a read. But everything that's in this hardcover section, uh, these are my favorites. These are all my favorites. And then down here, I've got the Hellboy, Sin City, and Goon area with all my toys and statues from Hellboy, Sin City, and Goon, along with a couple signed prints that I have here just for fun. Down here we've got um, my manga paperbacks, my regular comic book related paperbacks, a couple of the artist editions, and some other random stuff. The cool thing about this shelf is that it has these long uh, vertical, or I'm sorry, horizontal sections where I can put giant books uh, like these artist editions. Obviously, Frank Miller is one of my favorites, so these two artist editions are Frank Miller books. But check out the size of this beast. It's a monster. And believe it or not, this one's smaller than the Sin City book. Uh, but it's a very cool book. It's got all the original art with layovers, showing changes. Highly recommend these books. If you like original art and you're interested in the process of making comic books, this is an absolutely phenomenal format. But it's hard to manage, so I'm glad I have these lay down sections for my oversized books. And let's see, that's about it. Um, I'll show you some more in detail another time. Thank you for looking. Please subscribe if you like the videos and have a great day.